Hey there, welcome back, Shobham this side. Now in this lecture, we'll be talking about avial trees as well as red black tree. Before jumping onto these two trees, let's talk about what are the problem we are going to face with binary search tree. So in the previous lecture, I give you a hint that we unbalanced ourselves, or maybe we balanced ourselves. So what I mean by that? So here if I take this quick example, this is our current binary search tree. And here maybe I need to insert 85. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add at here at the right of my 75. Here I'm going to add 85. Now maybe I'm going to add a new element, suppose 90. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new node and attach it here. So I'm taking a basic example. So if this is going to be followed, I'm going to just make my tree unbalanced. If I count my current height here, it is going to be one, two and three. And if I count my height here, it is going to be one. So if I count the difference, it is going to be three minus one, which is two and it's unbalanced right now. Now to avoid this situation, avoid creating a single layer or maybe to avoid these type of situation, we use red black trees or avial tree structure. Before jumping onto them, I want to talk about a tool called Visual Go, which is pretty fun tool. So if I jump here, if I talk about this tool, this tool help us to visualize different algorithm. In future, we are going to use it. And it also help us to visualize how we are going to add, search or insert any of these. So here I'm taking binary search tree, which is PST. Just jump onto visualgo.net, search about your algorithm or data structure that you want to visualize and that's it. So here I'm taking this particular example. If you want to create your own structure, you can just create and just take the example that you want. So here, suppose I have currently this binary example that is binary search tree balanced example. And here, if I need to perform anything like search, maybe I need to perform search for 72. If I do go, it is going to represent how things are going to follow. That's it. That's how we are going to reach 72. And maybe if I need to perform insertion, maybe I need to insert 55. So all I have to take is 55. It is going from 41 to 65 to 50 to 55. Let me do that. Yep, that's how it is going to work. So this gave us a basic idea about tree presentation. Now why I took this particular tool, this will help you to understand how this binary search tree works. And it is also going to help us to understand this AVL tree. For red black tree, I'm going to take this USFCA site and this is going to help us to visualize thing. Now let us understand what is going to happen. So when we take any of them, when we utilize any maybe red black tree or maybe this avial tree, these balance themselves every time we add or delete any item. So suppose if I'm adding or deleting any item from this tree, it is going to balance itself. The main focus of these trees is to not reach a condition where our tree is unbalanced. So currently I have this structure and here at the left hand side, I have 71. So if I add 72, it should be here, right? So let me add a new item. Let me insert 72 here. Going fine, going fine. And here we added 72. Now let's add 73 actually. So all I'm going to do is insert a new item and I'm going to add 73. Let's go here. Reach 71, then 72 and here we reach 73. So since it's unbalanced, so what it is going to do is it is going to update itself. Now how it is going to update, it compared the last three elements, last three elements in a single row. Maybe let me add a new element. Let me insert maybe 74 now. 50, 72, 73, 74, and it is going to rebalance itself. You see? So that means after each insertion or maybe after each deletion itself, maybe let me delete more items. Let me delete uh, five. Let me now delete four. Since currently it's balanced, so it is not doing anything. But once we delete this seven, it is going to be unbalanced. Let me delete this seven.
Now here you see how it is going to balance itself. So it's one of the structure in which we are following the condition of binary search tree as well as we are keeping it balanced. So you have to understand it is going to help us to self balance itself. Now let me talk about this red black tree. So here suppose I take our own structure that is this one. At this point of time what we did is while insertion we just followed everything with our binary search tree. Now here we have 19 so we just add it here. Then we have 57 that's it. Then we have 15 so what we are going to do is we are going to add it here. Then we have 9 and then we have 11. So we followed everything sequentially. First we have 19 we created it as a root node. Then 57 we added its right. Then 15 which was left. Then 9 which was left because 9 is less than 15. Then 11. So 11 is greater than 9 we added it here. Now if I follow the same structure. So what I am going to do is first I am going to add my root node which is 9. Let me insert it. That's fine. Now let me add my 57. So if I insert it here. That's it. That's so working fine. Now let me add my next which is 15. I'm going to insert it here. Yep, everything is balanced. Now let's make this unbalanced. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 9. It is going to still going to remain balanced. But what if now I add 11. So if I add 11 here. You see it is going to rebalance itself. Now here you see two different part which is one is black part and the other one is red part and that's how the things work here. The black part and the red part is going to play an important role. So I'm going to add some resource that will help you to read about them. You don't have to implement them right now. It is not recommended for beginners to just jump onto these examples because we are already into complexities. We are already into state. We are talking about different structure every now and then. And this is actually a solution to a problem for binary search tree. So I will be adding some resource that will help you to understand this red black tree as well as AVL tree. And these are used to just self balance our structure when we are working with BST. I hope this lecture was helpful. Now you got basic idea about this AVL tree and red black tree. And after reading about them after going through resource make sure you try about this visual algo that is visual go and this tool to understand how this is going to work in visualization. Thank you for following this lecture and I see you guys in the next one.